Yo, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we have the brand new 16.20 update. Uh, we have car mods, we have brand new leaks of skins, brand new leaks of emotes. Let's hop right into it. So the first thing that we're going to be talking about in this update is the Horizon Zero Dawn collab. So Fortnite, Horizon Zero Dawn collab, LTM, team up, Aloy and Laura, which is uh, Aloy and Laura Croft. Use loot from wildlife and technology to upgrade your weapons. All weapons can upgrade to legendary quality. Keep an eye out for wildlife, you never know what might be lurking in the bushes. So this is a brand new LTM and a brand new collab for Horizon Zero Dawn. And these are going to be all the weapons that are going to be inside of the exact LTM. So we have a lot of bows here, a lot of flame bows, a lot of um, explosive bows it seems like, and a lot of dual pistols. So if you do like the dual pistols, they seem like they're going to be coming back in this LTM. And so what's next is I actually have brand new skins that is going to be inside of the Fortnite update, and also leaked emotes. So I'm going to show the gameplay of that now. So it seems like there's only two leaked uh, emotes and about six skins, but these are all the bundles that have been um, encrypted. So basically we have the anime uh, type of guy, the major laser set seems like it's going to come back, marshmallow seems like it's going to come back, and also the assassins pack. So that's pretty cool as it, that was actually inside of the Nintendo eShop and uh, now it's going to be coming back to the game, I'm assuming. So along with everything that I just showed you, these are the brand new vehicle mods, so it's just off-road tires. Uh, jack up your ride and forge your own trail. So basically, this is going to be in the game, and this is actually in the game right now. Uh, you can go and find it at a garage that's around every single location. I'm actually going to show the map now. And um, these are all the new locations for the garages. Uh, you probably can't really see it because they're just at the old locations where they were. So, like Pleasant Park, that is a gas station. That's going to be there. So, any location at a gas station is most likely going to be a garage right next to it around there. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. These uh, actually have, you know, you're able to go off-road with these and be good. You know, you can go up a steep mountain and everything. So, it, it's pretty sick. Um, overall, I think these are pretty good addition. Uh, this could set up the future for weapon attachments and even more vehicle mods upcoming. So, there's actually two new bows that got added. One is a splinter bow, which you can see on screen here. So, the ammo is arrows. The reload time is 1.3 seconds. Uh, the magazine size is 1, and the damage players is 100, so this could be an exotic, this could be a mythic, we don't really know yet, but there's also another grappler bow, which I'm going to show right now. And this is the brand new grappler bow, which is supposedly going to be sold by Laura Croft herself at Stealthy Stronghold, so this is the grappler bow. Uh, long range grappling device that also deals damage, so it seems like you can deal damage with the grappling bow and also use it as a grappler, as it seems. Uh, the ammo is arrows, the reload time is 1 second, magazine size is 1, and damage to players is 89, so it doesn't really seem like this is going to be an exotic. Although it could be, possibly, as it seems, as like a blue type of tint to it, and also, is also a grappler, so it probably is going to be an exotic now I think about it. So what you can see on screen here is all the bug fixes that got uh, fixed in this update. So code green wrap not appearing correctly, that got fixed. Get a headshot with a bow quest fixed. Travel distance while swimming quest fixed. Arena playlist issues. Storm visibility is clear when you're using performance mode. So a lot of people have been uh, seeing that on performance mode on PC, you can see a lot clearer in Storm, and that's actually a glitch, and they actually fixed it this update. Collection book character number 17 not appearing on the island, which I'm pretty sure is Spark Plug, if I'm not mistaken. Slurp mushrooms and coconuts temporarily disabled, they got re enabled. Creative. Start with pickaxe creator still spawning with a pickaxe. Vehicle is not moving properly in creative. Save the world. The directive mission alert 2. Quest is not properly tracking completions. Mobile. Cosmetics and lobby appearing blurry on Nintendo Switch. 3D resolution reset itself, even if the player saved the settings. So those are all the bugs that got fixed in this update, which is pretty cool because a lot of those bugs were kind of not really game breaking, but they were not very helpful. They were more annoying. Obviously, bugs are gonna be annoying. So, yeah, that that was pretty annoying, but they fixed all those bugs. 
So these are all the vehicle spawners that got enabled in Fortnite Creative. So we have the Prevalent, the Bear, the Mudflap, the Taxi, and the Whiplash. So we now have cars in Creative, which is uh, going to be big for basically anything, any any Creative map uh, that creators want to do. They can actually have cars in it now, which could be interesting for death runs, but could be more interesting for storyline related topics like um, interesting stuff. You know, uh, just like a storyline uh, with cars will just be a lot better uh, than just like a go kart. So in the background video, you realize that I landed at the spire. I cut the whole entire other match out because uh, you already got some car gameplay. Uh, but this is gonna be the recycler when I get the mythic recycler. So there's actually a mythic recycler now at the spire location. Rather than the mythic shotgun, which is the primal shotgun that used to be mythic, uh, they replaced it with the Spire Assassin's Recycler. So there's no more Spire uh, Primal Shotgun. That doesn't mean that they vaulted the Primal Shotgun. They vaulted the Mythic Primal Shotgun, but they didn't vault the Ray Blue and everything else uh, shotgun. So basically, Spire Assassin's Recycler, this is what it's going to be. Ammo is a junk, obviously. Reload time is 2 seconds. Magazine size is 3. Uh, damage to players is 86. So all that has changed on this Recycler uh, than the other Recyclers is the damage it went from 83 from the legendary to 86 of the mythic so not really that good of a gun but if you want to use it it's at the spider so all the loot pull updates on screen here as you can see from fn assist fortnite loot pull update spire assassin's mythic primal shotgun replaced with mythic re recycler grappler bow sold by lower crafters i don't really know if it's in the game or not uh i did go there and there was nothing there so i don't really know if it's sold there or if it's just a glitch or if it'll be in the game later on in a different update but Slur Mushrooms got re-enabled, and Splinter Bow added does not seem to be yet enabled. So the last final thing that we do have on this video is Neymar's toy is confirmed to be a soccer ball, which we uh, expected it to be, as it was in the teaser of Season 6. It has a scoring effect, so we might either get Football Stadium or Goalpost. So that would be pretty interesting if that is the case. So that is going to be it for this update video. Make sure you check out my streamers I'm going to put in the end screen. Make sure you go and check that out. Um, overall this update was a pretty good update, uh, we had a lot of stuff, a lot of cosmetics, not really that many cosmetics actually, but, uh, there was a lot of good cosmetics, so, I'll take it. Uh, the Mythic is not the best thing in the world, but it's okay. The Tires, not the best thing in the world, but it's okay. Uh, I hope you guys did enjoy. Hit the like button if you did. Subscribe and turn on post notifications. Make sure you check out the other stream, though. That literally showed everything. Uh, this showed everything, too, but... This is just a condensed version of the stream, basically. So hit the like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out. Yes.